Shion, you okay? It's nothing. Don't be so dr dramatic. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on. Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. <laughs> Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure Renan wouldn't steal it. So even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody would come for it? I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will, and see it through to the end. And we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renics. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm gonna die one way or another, I'd rather go down fighting. Hurry up and go to sleep. I swear you can't walk five steps without tripping on a zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana, or so I've heard. What? You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature, too? You can get angry all you want, but we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. So, this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just... you know... I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Renan soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. 
The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. I think it's time we go to sleep. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Looks like it could be worth something. Can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day.
if something happened. I'm skeptical. Right. back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Brennan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with the Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Dan and Garbs. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Hey, Sheon, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. 
You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology's technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. There are owls here, too. Yeah. yeah. More of them around than I thought. for some lousy club. <gasps> there are Sugals here too? your strength. The average Zoogle shouldn't be a problem, right? No, give it a shot. Swallow blade. This one's all mine. Eat dirt. By the power of water. They've got me surrounded. Flyers. This one's mine. I'll shoot them down. more energy than I expected. 